In this lesson, we are going to continue to talk about landscape design in Lumion 11, and we're going to see some other additional tools that can help us to create a really defined and realistic landscape, but not only, we can also import here a lot of content and information using the uh, OpenStreet Map tool that we find in the toolbars. And this is a better version, so it's gonna, I think it's gonna be improved more and more in the future, but we're going to see how it works right now. So let's start from the beginning as usual. So we will start with a simple landscape and then at the end of the video, we're gonna see this part also, which is really amazing because it's really helpful when you need to do an architecture project or in a city or uh, in a particular part of a city. This one here, it's Rome and I can see roads, I can see all the different land use with different colors. I can see satellite images if I want. I can see the water, so like rivers or lakes. This is this is just satellite right here. And if I hold shift and spacebar and move really uh, quick, I can see that all this stuff has been imported. You can see this is a really huge area of Rome. And you can test this in other cities as well. And it's using the open street map, as you can see here, all the information down below. Okay, now let's start with something uh, more simple and gonna switch here to English real quick. And I'm going to open up another file. So I will not save this one here. Uh, let's go back to the previous landscape design that we started in the previous video, and then I will add some more things to it. Okay, so this was the scene that we left in the previous video and we talked about landscape sculpting but in this video we're going to talk about landscape painting. So let's go here and select paint. So we have these four different slots and then we have also some parameters which are similar to the sculpting tool and also we have some libraries that we can use. Side rock and toggle rock. Now I will explain everything in just a minute and of course we can use the undo when we want to go back. Now the first thing we we see here is the what it's called well this is the main grass layer or the I it's called here it's the landscape grass okay so this one are like secondary and I will explain to you I will show you why this is important here you can assign like this this little button here which one will be the let's say the main one the most important okay now it's this one here and the second one the third and the fourth you can use these anywhere so for example let's go to the second one and click on this little arrow so here you can say okay maybe i want to add some farmland some land which will be farmed so i will go here let's go into another area and I will use the size to define how big will be the brush and how intense. So it really looks similar to the, the other brushes that we used before. Now let me increase this. Well, make sure that also you have selected the right slot. You can see right now I am the, in the main one. So I want to go in the second one and now I will start to paint. And there you go. Now it looks too different. Now you always need to be really close here because when you see everything from a lot of distance, it's gonna look like really repeated a lot. The texture will be repeated, but then you can solve this by adding a lot of elements around like trees or uh, rocks and whatever. Just You need to be sure that you want to work somewhere and then you want to place there a lot of details. Well, you can also change here the intensity or the what it says here, the, the speed. Now in this case it's gonna be more like blurred in the edges. It's not gonna be too too uh, like a strong the passage from one type and to the other. Now these are really two different colors. Maybe we want to use something a little better like that. So you can see if you select another material that's gonna be automatically replacing the previous one. And this one here should be the one assigned to the sand. So if I 
get closer and what's this one here yeah these are like leaves but uh, they look like sand from a distance but they are leaves so I don't want that leaves there I want some sand so I'm gonna click here to edit type and you can find different types of sand maybe this Nevada sand is fine or you want to try some more Thailand sand okay now you also can choose here let's uh, decrease the size of the brush and you can also decide the tile size so if you increase the tile size you you will see more details but be careful not too much you can also see these are like uh, coming with a normal map so a fake 3d effect so you can have more realism and also I will start here to paint around these areas because near the water you don't want like grass you probably want to add some sand and also inside uh, the water down there you can use that so I will definitely increase the intensity of this so I can paint all that mm, bottom of the sea there you go so I will add some some of this nice sand into these parts and well sometimes you probably need to go back also to other tools for example if you go into sculpting you, you can start to smooth out this to make it look more like sandy and not rocky but you can well that's your choice now you don't need to paint everything is because painting everything is gonna take a long long time so my suggestion is paint only what you see what you don't see or what you see in a distance there well that's gonna be less important this one here yeah probably yes but you know uh, be smart don't paint everything well you can also use the templates at the beginning if you want to start with a something in the beach I suggest you use the big sample or if you want mountains use the mountains example just make your life easy or easier okay now we can also define the other one and use a four type and well you have like snow if you are willing to do something um, well in the colder part of the world okay you can paint around your snow or you can paint around other types of rocks and well, you can see here, it's pretty easy and pretty fun. Okay. Now, this will look better, of course, in the rendering. This is just a preview, as usual, so don't worry about that. And so you also have some templates here that you can use. So if you click here, and I will choose this one here, it's going to 